So yeah. what's this? This is Fly Eye. <laughs> My name is Kate Fitzgerald. Um, I'm a professor of medicine here at the medical school. Um, I've been at UMass for almost 15 years now. Did all my initial training in Ireland and I came here in 2001. Very early on when I was actually in high school, I did a summer internship in a hospital clinical biochemistry lab. From then on, I think I was pretty much hooked. The field of innate immunity, I think, has come an enormous way in the past sort of two decades or so. We now pretty much understand at the molecular level what the major pathways are that drive inflammation, you know, which pathways involve, let's say, in heart disease versus um, autoimmune diseases. And I think now we can, we can really kind of start to begin to understand how these pathways are dysregulated in, in specific diseases and, and ultimately the goal is to understand the targets so that you know we can eventually develop therapeutics to intervene in, in these sorts of diseases. Currently there are kind of more sledgehammer approaches to treating inflammatory diseases that have sort of enormous side effects and I think if you understand in more detail the triggers and the pathways then you can have a more directed therapy that will hit the pathway you want to, to sort of inactivate but won't have all sorts of off-target effects that cause patients sort of various kinds of uncomfortable side effects. So our research is really focused on the innate immune response which is the sort of first line of defense during infection. We're really interested in understanding sort of how the immune system discriminates friend from foe, so how do we recognize a bacterial pathogen, a virus, etc., and how do we sort of mount those very earliest, um, what we call innate host defense responses. The immune system is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it protects us from infection, but the flip side is if you tip the balance even slightly, you know, you can have all sorts of inflammatory responses that sort of go uncontrolled.